Hey you guys, this is Big Zell Twenty hanging you guys up. Um, I'm here to talk about the fact that I'm extremely frustrated at the moment. Very frustrated, very fucking disheartened because I just tried to upload a video for the umpteenth time, not just ten minutes ago, for about the fifteenth time tonight of my review of Crazy Sexy Cool. It had no music. It had no pictures, it had no copyrighted videos, and it keeps getting deleted, and it keeps, YouTube keeps fucking blocking me because it's being a shady fucking bitch, but simply because they keep saying it's copyrighted material, you're violating copyrighted laws, you're basically imposing copyright infringement. What am I copywriting? My review of Crazy Sexy Cool that everybody else, hundreds of other people have already done just last week. I don't get it. I don't understand. So, I... I'm, I'm, I know what you're doing, YouTube. I absolutely know what the fuck you're doing. YouTube, over the past, maybe I would say about two years, has for, reformatted itself and changed itself so much that a lot of people are not getting the views they used to get. A lot of people are not getting put on like the way they used to be put on. Because YouTube is only catering to the people that make the money. You know who they are. The ones who always have millions of views. The ones who always don't really talk about shit or don't really do shit with their little dumbass, non-funny skits. And, you know, they get a shitload of views and get a big fucking Google check. Now, a lot of you might be like, Big Zoe, you sound like a bitter bitch right now. I'm not being bitter. Let me tell you guys why I joined YouTube a while back. Back in 2008, 2009-ish. I joined YouTube simply to put myself out there. I never cared about the views. But what I enjoyed about YouTube is that it gave you an opportunity and a chance to get noticed, to get put on. And they were non-biased at the time. You remember those days. There were hardly any fucking commercials. And if you were to watch a video dealing with, let's say, Bad Girls Club, because that's what I was known for at the time, if you're watching a video about Bad Girls Club, there will be a whole list of people on down the side under under the section called Recommended of the same relevant shit. So you will see a whole bunch of other people doing videos about Bad Girls Club. And that's what I liked about it. So even if you were a new YouTuber, you had the opportunity to be known. Because at some point, people who weren't subscribed to you would see your video and be like, hmm, what's that about? But no, 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 no. YouTube and these popular YouTubers are in fucking cahoots. They're in cahoots now to the point where it, the YouTube administrators make sure that other people's videos are not fucking seen. Okay? But let's go back to the fact that my shit is not being uploaded. YouTube has been shady to me for some fucking time, you guys. I just never told you. Actually, I think I made a video about copyrighted bullshit one time back in 2010, but I'm going to elaborate a little bit more now. I've had many videos where I've done skits, put my time and actually spent money on it to, for props and stuff, and made a video um, with some of my friends, uploaded it on YouTube, and it has been taken down citing inappropriate are taken down citing copyright are just simply flagged and taken down with no fucking explanation now mind you we had we had other outlets to put our material out there but it just made me not want to work as hard or put my all into YouTube itself now, a lot, I know I've fallen off a lot because I had a lot of shit going on in my life at different times. And I used to think that the lack of views that I was getting was because of that. Well, that might have something to do with it. But in layman's terms, I was told by several subscribers, up to like 15, 
that they didn't know I was back because they're not getting alerted to the new videos that I put out on their news feed. YouTube is supposed to alert you when you're subscribed to someone and let you know that you have a new fucking video. Now, half of you guys are getting alerted, but, I, but half of you are not. So there are people who are not getting alerted to what's going on. You hear Max? He wants attention. You you gotta wait. Um, it's disheartening, and, and and that's fine with me because I really wasn't here for the views from the beginning, as I always say. I'm not here for the views. I, I'll be with you in a second, baby. I'm I'm sorry. Hold on. Um, but what really ticks me off is that people out there who really want to make it on YouTube. Um, if you hear a clinging in the background, that's Max playing with his toys. Um, happy Halloween, by the way, everybody. Um, but people, it used to give you a fucking opportunity. It used to give people an opportunity to make something themselves. And some people get on YouTube and are not getting even 17 views. Okay? There are talented people. And I'm going to throw a name out there. I'm going to say Quadir. Very talented, very beautiful, very beautiful message on a lot of his videos. Very inspirational. And he used to get twenty-five to 50,000 uh, views. I'm about to say dollars. I'm about to say, bitch, if you was getting that, you need to share the wealth. He was getting twenty-five to 50,000 views a video. And now, I saw one video of his that was getting like 4,000. And that's no shade to him, but he really deserves a lot more than that. And I believe YouTube is involved. I believe popular YouTubers are involved. Because now, if you have a video where you're talking about relationships, or you're talking about Bad Girls Club, or you're talking about fucking Basketball Wives, down the recommended so section, instead of showing other relevant videos, they'll show Jenna Marbles, Shane Dawson, Timothy De La Ghetto, Dashy. I actually like Dashy, so this is no shade to him. Um, you know, Smosh, and a whole bunch of other fucking preppy-ass YouTubers like that. And once again, this is no shade to them. I, I appreciate the hustle. I can give you props for your hustle. But it's shady. I'm calling it is what it is. It's fucking shady fucking boots, and it's cunty. Okay? And we're not stupid. I know exactly what's going on. They took away the option to put video responses on other people's videos. So now, if you have a video, if you feel passionately about somebody else's video and you want to make a video response and put it on their videos, they took that away. Of course, they were trying to say, oh, it had something to do with the fact that um, they took it away because people were getting harassed. But that's bullshit because if a person, a person who had a video and someone makes a video response to your video, you have the option to accept it or not. So once you already look at that video and you feel like you're being harassed, bitch, you could have spam block delete that bitch. YouTube, you're full of fucking shit. <laughs> you've you've taken down a lot of my videos. You've de you've taken away the advertisements on a lot of my videos for what reason I do not know. They've taken away the option for me to make money. They've taken away I mean, it's just awful. It's just fucking awful. And I think that, and once again, it's just it's just fucking shady, you guys. And it's very disheartening for someone who, especially since people are, you know, have been hitting me up and saying that they've wanted um, a crazy, sexy, cool review from me. And they can't get it because YouTube won't let me upload it. <laughs> YouTube won't let me upload a video where I was simply talking about putting lotion on your legs because they said it was inappropriate. But yet you can have bitches like Shane Dawson, no offense, not calling, no mean to call him a bitch, but you can have people like him um, play about fucking uh, child molestation as if it's a funny joke. That's not inappropriate because they're making YouTube money. You can have people like Jenna Marbles thinking it's funny to talk shit about people being raped or, you know, shit drunk girls say. 
and yet you have beautiful and talented people like Quadir singing their asses off, making wonderful videos that I would watch ten, a hundred times over than I would watch than the the videos them other bitches make. And yet, he can't get more than 5,000 views for some of his videos. That's complete bullshit. And you have these blonde-headed bitches who don't even talk about shit, just blinking their eyes in the camera and making over 2 million views. That, see, it's, it's all shady. It's all fucking shady, you guys. Now, I'm not here to bitch and complain and whine. You guys might say you're doing it anyway. But I just want to let you know it is what it is. And I wanted to make a video because I felt passionately about it. You guys wanted a crazy, sexy, cool video. And I wasn't able to put it on there. Um, maybe at some point, I'll try again tomorrow. Maybe it'll be able to go up. I'll, we'll see. But right now, that's just the way it is because, you know, YouTube's being shady as fuck. But it's cool. Um, I plan on creating my own website and making a blog with my homegirl um, who did the Drag Me to Hell review um, who did the Drag Me to Hell review with me back in 2009 so um, look, be on the lookout for that and just you know be on the lookout for stuff because I actually have some stuff coming up that's, that has nothing to do with YouTube okay but I'm going to let you guys know via video if YouTube lets me upload it but um, I love you guys so much. Peace.